Hey everyone, it's Sandy, and with summer's scorching temperatures in full swing, we gotta make sure our feline friends stay cool and comfortable. You know, cats are masters at finding the warmest spot in the house. A sunbeam, a laptop, you name it. But when the mercury rises, that instinct to soak up the heat can be downright dangerous. Heat stroke in cats is a serious condition, and we want to avoid it at all costs. So, in this video, we're going to equip you with six simple yet effective strategies to help your cat beat the heat and stay safe all summer long. From keeping them hydrated to recognizing the signs of heat stroke, we've got you covered. Remember, our cats rely on us to provide a safe and comfortable environment, especially when the weather gets extreme. So, let's dive right in and learn how to be the best cat parents we can be, even when the heat is on. All right, let's start with the basics. Water, the elixir of life, especially during a heat wave. Water is essential for all living beings, and our feline friends are no exception. Ensuring your cat stays hydrated is one of the most important things you can do for their health. Just like us, cats need to stay hydrated to regulate their body temperature and keep their cool. Dehydration can lead to serious health issues, including urinary tract infections and kidney problems. So, it's crucial to make sure your cat is drinking enough water every day. Make sure your cat has access to fresh, clean water at all times. This means not just filling up their bowl once a day, but checking it regularly to ensure it's not empty or contaminated with food particles or other debris. And don't just fill the bowl and forget it. Change it out frequently throughout the day. Cats are more likely to drink water that is fresh and clean, so make it a habit to refresh their water supply multiple times a day. Here's a cool tip, literally, toss a few ice cubes into their water bowl. This can be especially helpful during the hot summer months when water can warm up quickly. It'll not only keep the water cooler for longer, but some cats love batting around those little ice chips. It turns drinking water into a fun activity, encouraging them to hydrate more often. Think of it as a refreshing game for your feline friend. Engaging your cat in playful activities with water can also help them associate drinking with positive experiences. Now, some cats are just naturally picky drinkers. They might not like the taste of tap water or the location of their water bowl. If your cat seems hesitant to hydrate, try a cat water fountain. The sound and movement of flowing water can be more appealing to them than still water in a bowl. The flowing water can entice them to drink more. Many cats are fascinated by running water and will be more likely to drink from a fountain than a regular bowl. You can even try adding a little low-sodium chicken broth to their water for a flavor boost. Just make sure it's warm and not too salty. This can make the water more enticing and encourage your cat to drink more. And here's a little trick I learned along the way. Pay attention to where your cat likes to hang out. Cats often have favorite spots where they feel safe and comfortable. If they're always lounging in a particular room, place an extra water bowl in that spot. Sometimes convenience is key. Having multiple water sources around the house can make it easier for your cat to stay hydrated. Remember, hydration is crucial for your cat's overall health and well-being, especially during the sweltering summer months. Keeping your cat hydrated helps them maintain their energy levels and supports their bodily functions. So, keep that water flowing and those kitties cool. By taking these simple steps, you can ensure your cat stays happy, healthy, and hydrated all year round. Okay, we've tackled hydration, now let's talk about creating some cool, comfy zones where your cat can escape the heat. Cats are naturally drawn to warm spots, but during a heat wave, it's crucial to provide them with cooler alternatives to keep them safe and comfortable. Remember those sun puddles your cat loves so much? Yeah, those are off-limits during a heat wave. While they might enjoy basking in the sun, it can quickly lead to overheating. Instead, think about the coolest spots in your house, tile floors in the bathroom, which stay naturally cooler due to their material and location. A shady corner in the living room can also be a great spot. These areas are often away from direct sunlight and can provide a cooler environment for your cat to relax, or even a basement if you have one. Basements are typically cooler than the rest of the house because they are partially or fully underground, making them an ideal retreat during hot days. These areas naturally retain less heat and can provide much needed relief for your furry friend. It's important to monitor these spots and ensure they remain cool throughout the day. You can make these cool zones even more inviting by adding a soft comfy bed or blanket. This not only provides comfort but also encourages your cat to use these cooler areas. And here's a pro tip, consider investing in a self-cooling mat 
These mats are designed to absorb your cat's body heat, providing a cool surface for them to relax on. They are especially useful during peak heat hours. These mats are designed to absorb your cat's body heat, providing a cool surface for them to relax on. They can be placed in your cat's favorite resting spots to enhance their comfort. If your cat enjoys the great outdoors, under strict supervision of course, make sure they have access to shade. A large umbrella, a covered patio, or any shaded area can help protect them from the sun's harsh rays, or even a strategically placed tree can make all the difference. Natural shade from trees can be cooler than artificial shade and provides a more comfortable environment for your cat. Remember, cats are masters at finding those cool hidden spots. They instinctively seek out cooler areas to regulate their body temperature. Our job is to make sure those spots are plentiful and accessible throughout the day. By providing multiple cool zones, you ensure that your cat always has a place to retreat to, no matter where they are in the house. Additionally, you can use fans to circulate air in these cool zones. A gentle breeze can make a significant difference in keeping the area comfortable for your cat. Don't forget to place water bowls in these areas as well. Staying hydrated is just as important as staying cool, and having water readily available in their favorite spots can encourage your cat to drink more. You can even add ice cubes to their water bowls for an extra cooling effect. Some cats enjoy playing with the ice, which can also help keep them entertained and cool. By taking these steps, you can create a safe and comfortable environment for your cat during the hottest days. It's all about being proactive and thinking ahead to ensure their well-being. Remember, a happy cat is a cool cat. So take the time to set up these cool havens and enjoy the peace of mind knowing your furry friend is comfortable and safe. All right, let's talk about airflow. It's something we often take for granted, but it's crucial for maintaining a comfortable living environment, not just for us, but for our pets too. Just like we rely on fans and air conditioning to stay cool, our cats can benefit from a little help in the air circulation department. Cats are sensitive to heat, and ensuring they have a cool, breezy space can make a world of difference in their comfort and health. If you have air conditioning, set it to a comfortable temperature for your cat. Typically, a range between 75 to 78 degrees Fahrenheit is ideal. This not only keeps your cat cool, but also helps in maintaining their overall well-being. Even if you don't have central AC, a simple fan can work wonders. Fans help in circulating the air, making the room feel cooler. Oscillating fans are particularly effective as they move air around the room, preventing hot spots. Place a fan in the room where your cat spends most of their time, making sure it's not blowing directly on them. Direct airflow can be uncomfortable, so positioning the fan to create a gentle breeze is key. You can also create a cross breeze by opening windows on opposite sides of the house. This natural ventilation method can significantly reduce indoor temperatures, especially during cooler parts of the day. Here's a little trick I learned back in the day, hang a damp towel or sheet in front of an open window. This simple method can enhance the cooling effect of the breeze, making the room feel much cooler. The breeze will blow through the damp fabric creating a cooling effect. This can be particularly useful during hot summer days when the indoor temperature can rise quickly. It's a low-tech solution that can make a big difference. Sometimes the simplest methods are the most effective and this is a great example of that. And don't forget about ceiling fans. These are often overlooked but can be incredibly effective in maintaining a comfortable indoor climate. They can help circulate air throughout the house, creating a more comfortable environment for everyone, including your feline companion. Ceiling fans are energy efficient and can be used in conjunction with other cooling methods for optimal results. Okay, let's talk about outdoor time. While some cats enjoy venturing outside, it's crucial to limit their exposure during a heat wave. Those scorching sidewalks and pavements can burn delicate paw pads, and the intense sun can quickly lead to overheating. If your cat absolutely must go outside, stick to the cooler hours of the day, like early morning or late evening when the sun is less intense. Always supervise your cat while they're outdoors, and make sure they have access to shade and fresh water at all times, and please, never, ever, leave your cat unattended in a parked car, even for a few minutes. The temperature inside a car can skyrocket in a matter of minutes, even with the windows cracked open. It's a recipe for disaster. Remember, when it comes to outdoor time during a heat wave, less is definitely more. Your cat will thank you for it. Alright, let's talk about some cool tools and tricks to help your cat beat the heat. 
We already mentioned self-cooling mats, but there are other ways to provide a cool surface for your cat to relax on. A simple damp towel placed on the floor can do the trick. Cats love to lounge on cool, damp surfaces, and it can help them regulate their body temperature. You can also dampen a towel and gently drape it over your cat, being careful not to cover their face or restrict their breathing. Speaking of touch, did you know that grooming your cat can actually help them stay cool? Brushing your cat helps remove loose fur, which can trap heat. Plus, it's a great way to bond with your furry friend. And here's a little secret weapon ice packs. Wrap an ice pack in a towel and place it near your cat's favorite resting spot. The cool air will provide some relief from the heat. Okay, we've covered a lot of ground, but this last chapter is crucial. It's important to be able to recognize the signs of heat stroke in cats and know what to do if your cat shows any symptoms. Heat stroke is a serious condition that can be fatal if left untreated. Signs of heat stroke in cats include panting, rapid breathing, drooling, lethargy, vomiting, diarrhea, stumbling, and seizures. If you notice any of these signs, it's essential to act quickly. Move your cat to a cool, shaded area immediately. Apply cool, wet towels to their body, focusing on the paws, armpits, and groin area. Don't use ice-cold water, as this can actually constrict blood vessels and make matters worse. Offer your cat small amounts of cool water to drink if they're able to swallow. And most importantly, get them to a veterinarian immediately. Heat stroke is a medical emergency, and prompt veterinary care is essential for their survival. So there you have it, folks. Six simple yet effective ways to keep your cat cool and safe during a heat wave. Remember, it's all about providing fresh water, cool zones, good airflow, limiting outdoor time, using cool tools, and knowing the signs of heat stroke. Now it's your turn. Share your own tips and tricks for keeping your cats cool in the comments below. Let's create a community of informed and prepared cat parents. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more cat care advice, tips, and tricks. Until next time, stay cool, cat dudes.